Hello, ladies. I am super stoked to get today's live training started with you. Um, fit, busy mama community. We have almost 8,000 women in this community. Some are moms, some are not moms. This is for all of you. Um, and today's training um, is about to get started. So I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to be able to hop on live. Those of you I know that were uh, excited to get on live. I'm so excited. If you're here, definitely say hello so that I do know that you're here. And I want to always sound check and just to make sure that you guys can actually hear me. Um, hear me okay here. Uh, and if you're catching this on replay later, put replay in the comments. Just let me know that you did get to catch it. Um, I know almost 100 of you actually signed up for uh, the masterclass in our invitation and, and I will be sending out this replay. So uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, today's topic um, is one that is very hot, very, very, very near and dear to my heart because I'm a busy mama um, and a busy entrepreneur and juggling many, many hats and sometimes focusing on ourselves is super hard and some days trying to figure out how am I supposed to eat clean but also feed the kids too on something they actually like. Hey, Brooke, so glad you're able to catch it live. Um, you know, the title of this exact training is literally how busy mamas can lose that belly fat while eating family friendly meals and with very little time. So I would love to hear if you're catching this right now, as where, whether you're listening to me now or later on replay, tell me which is the biggest struggle for you? Is it the family finding family friendly meals that you can actually still lose belly fat with? Or is it little time? Or you can put both in the comments. I know a lot of us are struggling with all of it. <laughs> um, you know, and so the biggest thing I wanted to share a little bit of like why I really felt called to bring this training. Uh, one is because it's a big struggle um, for, for all of us, right? But if you're new to this group, put new in the comments if you're new to the group. I'd love to see the new ones. I know we have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of new faces, a lot of new women, a lot of new moms in this community. Um, but if you're if you're new to me whatsoever, I feel super called and on a big major mission to bring awareness to you. If you're watching this and this appealed to you whatsoever, to bring awareness to the world of women and moms that you can do this. You can focus on yourself when you have very little time and you got a family to feed. You can actually, hey, Sabrina, what's up, girl? Um, you can lose belly fat. You can lose weight in a way that doesn't cause you to go eat in the, I always, I always visualize how I would not want you to do is eat, you know, out of a Tupperware with food that, you know, you had to spend hours upon hours in prepping because it's on this over-restricted meal plan while your family's eating something else that you made. We should all be able to enjoy life. You should all be able to lose weight. You should all be able to lose belly fat. You should all be able to have the life and the desire and the body and the health that you want while raising families. You do not have to wait until they're out of a home uh, and to start focusing on you. You can do it now. And my biggest, uh, you know, and another part of my mission, I really feel called um, to bring awareness around this topic um, that you can get the results and you can do it while eating pizza, you know, once a night, once a week with your family or whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, I say pizza cause that's usually one of ours. Um, you don't need the fad diets. You don't need the quick fixes. Those are doing you more harm than anything whatsoever. If something tells you to cut out all these food groups and don't live life <laughs> and miss out on memories and moments with your family, because there's cake there or there's pizza there and that's not on your plan. Um, it, that is, that is not a, that is not okay. And there is a way to do that without that. You guys, I promise. Um, we don't have to be the all or nothing personalities full of missing out on life. Um, yeah. Coach Anita is on here. Uh, again, if you're new to the group, you know, we're, we're, you know, also fit mama coaches, you know, myself included coach Anita, coach Lori. And she says you can, and it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Absolutely. And thank you, by the way, <laughs> um, it does not have to be overwhelming in today's society and today's world has made it way too overcomplicated, way too confusing. And that's what we're here to really simplify it. Um, we did an amazing training yesterday in our VIP group about this very thing. Simplify it. Hey, Brittany, so glad you're here. Um, so bringing awareness to let you understand that you can do this and feed your family and live life all at the same time. You can do it all. You can have it all. I promise. Uh, I know myself is living proof of doing it. I know if I can do it, you guys, anybody can do it. And many of the women that we coach in our VIP community are doing it all too. 
Um, and so who is this training for? You. If you're watching, you are appealed to this topic for a reason. Um, it, it is definitely designed for busy women and busy moms. I talk a lot about mamas, but we also have a lot of beautiful souls and beautiful women in this community that aren't moms. And you are equally, equally need this training uh, as us mamas do, right? So don't ever want anyone feeling left out in that department. But if you're a busy woman and a busy mom and you're struggling finding time for yourself, this training is for you. If you're struggling figuring out, oh my gosh, I can actually lose weight and belly fat while eating family-friendly meals. I can cook one meal at night. We are here to give you the peace knowing, yes, yes, you can, I promise. Um, and uh, and if you're, you're, you're just struggling with all the things, this is for you, right? And then, so here's what, here's how today's training is going to do. I broke it up into three different pieces, okay? So if you're available the whole time, stick around to the end, <clears throat> excuse me, to the end too, I'm also going to share something that we do as Fit Mama Coaches, something that we have available um, to also help you uh, as well. But in today's training, I'm going to break it up into three different pieces because I'm a big believer and there's more than one pieces to the puzzle, you guys. There's more than one thing. You can follow a diet all day long, but when that's all you're focusing on, you're setting yourself up for failure. Um, if you're only focusing on workouts and not food, setting yourself up for failure. But my most important piece, and if you know me, you know this because I talk about this all the time. Hey, Miss Bertha, how are you? Mindset is everything to me. Um, and this is what is missing in so many programs out there in today's world. Um, and they're not included in this diet and that diet and whatever. They don't change your mind. That's one of the most important pieces. So in the first part of this today's training, I'm going to talk about the three big mindset shifts that you have to have as a woman and that you need to understand. Um, and then I'm going to go into a little bit more about food. Uh, I'm going to talk about things that uh, you know, you should be doing and you should not be doing when it comes to the food and the nutrition piece of this thing. Uh, I'm going to tell you what you can focus on and how it allows you to actually ha eat family friendly meals and still get results. And then I'm also going to share some tools because again, one of the most common things that we as women and coaches hear all the time is like, I don't have time to meal prep. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. And I'm here to tell you that th you can do this. And there is time, you just have to find it because we all have the same 24 hours in a day, but I'm gonna share some tools that a lot of us use um, that allow us to do things like meal prep in 15, 20 minutes so that you can be set up for success. Um, and then the, before I get into the mindset shifts though, I have to announce one thing. We have a winner from last week's breakfast challenge. If you're new to this group and don't know what I'm talking about, last week we had we have a free challenge in here every single month. Last week was all about giving yourself a high five in the morning and sharing your breakfast. Um, and just simply for participating and being a part of it and posting in here on a daily basis. And you can also rack up those extra points by literally tagging us in Facebook stories and Instagram stories and stuff like that. The winner that literally showed up every single day, racked up extra points by tagging us every single day, Sabrina Bilbo, you're the winner. Give her a major, major kudos. If you're still on, I know you were on just a second ago. Uh, I wanted to catch you and just know that you won the challenge. You won, um, you know, shoot me a message. You won either a, a full um, call with myself um, or a uh, entry to our detox program, which will start in February the 20th, um, or something from our Fit Mama Apparel store. So you get to choose. So congrats. <laughs> we'll do another challenge again. If you're new to the group, we'll do another challenge next month as well. We do one every single month. So who's ready for the, tra for the training? I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's get into the mindset shift. The first and most important thing in the world is how you look at this journey, how you look at food, how you look at yourself, how you love yourself, how you feel you're worthy enough of, of freaking 10 minutes a day, how you feel that you're worthy enough to even put you know, a little bit of financial investment in yourself. You deserve it. If you are in here, you're watching this because you're struggling in all these areas, you're very likely to also be struggling with the fact that you, if you even understand or realize that you're worthy of your own time, taking time away from your family to better yourself. But guilty in the comments is this is something that you struggle with. And for years, I struggled in this area too. Like I didn't feel like I was worthy of time. My family needed every ounce of me. Well, they were only getting a fraction of me because I did nothing for myself. And so um, this is why I wanted to start with a mindset piece. Yeah, you are worthy. You are worthy. And if you're struggling, believe me that, just type it out. I am worthy. It's so important for one of the biggest mindset shifts is for you to understand you are worthy of time for yourself. You are even worthy of a financial investment to get help. If you find yourself at that point, I see women that literally have 
hard time buying other things, find a way to invest in themselves because they finally do, they finally believe and they finally make this one mindset shift of I am freaking worthy of this. So I'm going to do it. So again, mindset shifts, that's actually the fourth one. I didn't even have that one planned, but I felt called to share that because you got to understand you're worthy of it. Um, but three other mindset shifts that I really want to talk about when it comes to um, losing belly fat, getting the results that you want, right? Getting the results you want while feeding your family at the same time. And also you have very little time to spend on yourself. The number one, uh, or I don't, these aren't in any specific order, but one of them, the first one that I definitely wanted to talk about is freedom. Put freedom in the comments if you're watching. And I know a lot of people are like, what are you even talking about, Angela? What is, what is freedom with food? I mean, freedom with food, meaning you can enjoy your family and your life while getting healthy and losing weight. I promise you can do it. I just came off of multiple birthdays in our family. And I, we, I think I counted, we ended up having pizza for a meal like five times within a seven day span, which is totally out of the norm. Um, but I've maintained the results. Um, so if I can do it, you can do it, right? And I'm not saying go eat pizza five nights a week. I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> but I'm saying because a lot of us, as Fit Mama coaches, a lot of the women in a lot of our other programs uh, focus on macros. And I'm going to go into macros a little bit into the food piece of this. Um, but to me, macros gives me freedom with food. Why? Because you can do something like eat pizza or go out to eat and enjoy a date night with your spouse and have freedom in food. You just got to move some things around. Um, yeah, I love you guys. I love you guys putting freedom in here. Hey, Jennifer, so glad that you were here. So freedom is a mindset shift that you have to understand. It is not, oh my gosh, I have to cut out every single carb if, I, if I'm gonna lose weight. We actually eat a lot of carbs. You guys, I eat, I, I eat over 200 grams of carbs a day because your body needs fuel, you guys. If you're living in a lot of these fad crash diets that cause you to cut out carbs, guys, there's some out there that say, no fruit, you can't have fruit, really? fruit. <laughs> um, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't. It really, our society and our world is really led uh, or, you know, labeled. Uh, a lot of foods is, oh God, that's bad. I can't have it. I can't have pizza if I'm trying to lose weight. Yes, you freaking can. It's all about moderation. It's all about freedom. But guess what? You're also going to enjoy life a little bit more. You're also going to be happier um, on, on this journey. You're also going to um, live uh, life in overlap on your family in a positive is I guess I would act technically be number two the number one mindset shift was understanding that you are worthy of this number two understanding that there is freedom with food there is freedom with food and I'm going to go in a little bit more detail about that in a second it does not have to be the all or nothing it does not have to be I got to cut out every single carb or I'm just not going to lose weight not the case or I have to cut out you know, all these things. You don't have to totally cut out certain food groups to get results. If you do that, can you get results? Yes, but it's the temporary results that make you feel good for a very temporary time. And then when, as soon as you introduce these certain foods back into your diet, like carbs, then you, your weight comes right back on and then some, and then what happens, you take a bigger blow to your confidence and your feeling of self-worth every single time you restart. You lose and gain, lose and gain, lose and gain the same 10 pounds for years because you're constantly jumping from one program, one diet to the next, right? So freedom. Number, number three mindset shift here is all about patience. Put patience in the comments and you've got to understand that you have to have patience. Again, with macros and what we coach and what we truly believe in, in here and what I really want to hone in on and help you understand, if you really truly want to get the results that you want, you really truly want to lose the belly fat, you really truly want to do all this while having freedom with food, means you also need to learn patience with your results. And this is not easy. This is extremely hard for almost every woman that we coach and including ourselves. But it's so crucial. You've got to have patience with your process or yeah, with your progress, excuse me. Um, and this is something that is usually a good wake up call for you. I'd like for you to think for a second and I want you to think, OK, how long have I been struggling trying to lose the same freaking 10 pounds or 20 pounds or 50 pounds, whatever your number is? I'm not as concerned about the number right here. But I want you to think for a second, like, how long have I been trying to lose this weight? Or better yet, how long have, has it been since I've, you know, put on this weight? 
a lot of us will talk about, you know, I need to lose my baby weight. And some women will tell me this often and it, you know, they're kind of joking about it because I need to lose baby weight, but my baby, my baby's 12, <laughs> my baby's 12. So I'm still for 12 years been struggling trying to lose this weight, right? So here's something I want you to think about. How long did it take you to get unhealthy? How long did it take you to get to this place you're at right now? I guarantee it did not happen overnight. A lot of us, those that are moms, a lot of us did start with the pregnancy gain. You gain weight with pregnancy. I gained over 60 with both kids. Um, it, took, it took a while to get it off. And then I hit, fell flat on my face, hit rock bottom, had some wake up calls to get it together and understand that I can do this while juggling a family of four and doing all the things together and growing businesses and all the things. Again, if I can do this, so can you. Um, but patience with your progress is something you have to understand. This is, a, I'm gonna throw out a number here and some people are like, oh, that's it. An average healthy weight loss in a journey that is going to lead you to long-term results, overall health, and the end the cycle of start and stop and start and stop and start and stop is one to two pounds a week, okay? One to two pounds a week is good. It's really good. And you have to focus on everything else besides the stupid scale. Okay, so patience. And then the last thing, the last thing on the mindset shift that I'm going to go more into food here. Um, so hang with me, but again, I'm just, I, the, the mindset piece is gotta be number one. And that's why I wanted to talk about that first. <clears throat> Those that we do coach and that are in our VIP community, like we, we talk about mindset a lot because it's very valuable. It's the most important thing. Change your mind, change your body. I'm a big believer in that. Right. Um, the last piece is control what we can and we got to learn to let go of the rest again. So hard, let go of control, let go of perfection. Perfectionism. How many of you guys struggle trying to be perfect on everything? You think you have to have your macros perfect. You think you have to have the perfect diet. Um, you have to follow the meal plan perfect. You have to, um, you know, do all the things perfect. Maybe it's your house that has to be perfect every single day. You have to learn on a health journey to let go of control because, um, you know, another piece of control sometimes is our day. Um, as a busy woman, which is every single person in this group, whether you're a mom or not, as a busy woman, we, there's going to be a lot of things that, that, that happen that is totally out of your control. The only thing that you can control is you and your reactions to it. Okay. You and your reactions to it is the only thing you can control. And the minute that you start to understand that and grasp that and shift your mind to understanding, okay, I got to let go of my day. The, the control of my day. Oh my gosh. It totally, you know, the kids are sick. COVID hit our house. I mean, how, so many of us have had that recently. Um, you know, so many things going on that your day can get flipped upside down in one, one second. But when we learn to just control, give ourselves grace, be like, okay, man, you know what? My day just got totally squashed in the next step. Oh, oh but it's okay. Cause I'm going to do what I can do today. And I'm going to move the other things to the rest. Um, but control you can control certain things. And again, it's how you react to things. Uh, and two, it's you. It's how you take care of yourself. How you prioritize yourself or how you don't prioritize yourself. You guys, it, we will quickly, our calendars will quickly be taken over by everybody's emergencies because if we're that type of person that want to people please and help and help and help, and we got 20,000 things going with the kids, but you can still make time for yourself and you have to learn to control and prioritize yourself. We were not meant as women and moms to sacrifice our health, kill ourselves on the inside slowly, um, as well as our minds and our love for ourselves or lack of to raise a family. None of us were meant to do that. And if you are raising a family and you're at that place, you're like, I'm so broken, I got nothing left to give. Guess who's hurting more than you? your loved ones and your family. So control what you can and let go of the rest. Control you and your priority, pri I can't even say the word, um, your priority. Mars not promised, we only get one body when we're put on this earth, so it's time to start taking care of it. Mindset shift, those are the big, big four. You are worthy. There is freedom in food, you gotta understand there is. There is a way to do it when you can have some freedom and enjoy life. 
got to have patience with the process and you got to learn what you can control and what you can't. And the biggest thing that so many people struggle understanding that you can't control is you can control you and the time you spend on you. You may feel right now you're like, yeah, Angela, sounds great and all, but I just don't have time. Get in my inbox if you would like to. Put help in the comments if you're someone that's like literally is about to lose it and need some help. We're here to help. Okay, so now let's get into the second part of this training, right? I gotta dig into the mind first. Second piece I wanna talk about is um, what not to do. I'm gonna talk about some things to avoid first. Okay, so listen up, this is all food related. This is all nutrition related. Because if you truly wanna lose the belly fat, you've gotta dial in your nutrition. And I don't mean be perfect. When I say dial in, I mean you gotta understand how much your body needs. Because I guarantee over, I don't know, I'm gonna throw out a number. Over 85% of you in here are probably under eating. It's not that you're overeating, right? So I'm going to talk a few things. Uh, I got four things that I listed here that are all about what to avoid when it comes to nutrition. Then I've got some things that I want to share with you, what you can do to create this freedom so that you can lose this belly fat, you can lose the weight, you can do all the things that you're trying to accomplish with family-friendly meals in little time. Okay, so the number one most important thing, in my opinion, that you should avoid and stop doing if this is you. How many of you guys put the word skip? Just skip in the comments. I'll know what you mean. And when I come back in here later and look at this. How many of you guys skip meals because you're too busy? This is doing you more harm than anything. This is giving your body instructions to feel like crap and hold on to pay. And this is something that I really want to drive home with you today because more of the women that we coach and work with, their problem is not that they overeat. And oftentimes some of them come to us, they actually eat pretty clean, but they're way under eating because they're so busy, they don't even stop to, or they're not prepping in advance, which I'm gonna, that's where I'm gonna get into the part three of this training today. I'm gonna talk about tools, how you can prep in advance with very little time, but starving yourself and going way under calories is way more harmful long-term than anything. Um, what will this do to you? Number one, it's gonna slow your metabolism down. When you skip and you don't eat enough food, guess what your body does? It stores fat. So that belly fat building up um, on you that you may be like, man, I'm eating clean, but it won't go away, right? Um, and I know, and I understand that it's really hard to understand like what you should eat, how much you should eat. The world is so freaking confusing. The best thing in the world that you can learn to do is click the unfollow button on social media. If you keep seeing the new diet and a new diet and a new diet, a new thing and a new promise to lose 38 pounds in four weeks and all these things, unfollow, unfollow, unfollow. It overcame, complicates the process and it leads you to more harm than anything. You can Go low, super under calories and drop some pounds in a very short period of time. But here's the problem and here's what happens there. You're not losing fat. <laughs> You're losing muscle and all the things that you want to hold on to. And more importantly, like I already said, you're slowing down your metabolism by not eating enough. You're slowing down your metabolism by skipping meals. You're slowing down. And then on top of that, you're messing with your hormones. You're putting your body through an immense amount of stress. And I guarantee a lot of you already have enough stress in your life. You don't need more. But when you have a lot of stress and then you're starving yourself because you're so busy, you can't even stop and take two seconds to make some food for yourself, you're putting more stress on your body. Your cortisol levels are through the roof. Your hormones are all out of whack. And then you start to think, oh, something is so wrong with me. I need to go you know, and, and something might be wrong with you at that point if you've done this for a really long time. A lot of the belly fat buildup is coming from these fad diets that you lose weight really quick. A lot of it is going to the belly area in a lot of women um, and, and all over, you guys. But you're not losing fat when you do stuff like that. When you're skipping meals, your body stores fat because it has no idea when the next time you're going to actually give it an adequate amount of fuel to be able to burn biggest number one most important things that I really want to bring awareness to for you ladies in here because I know you're busy is very busy and skipping meals is very common for a lot of the ladies in here okay so if I could get through to you at all right now stop skipping meals how do you do that you need to prepare food in advance um, be prepped I'm gonna go into that in in the tool section of this training I promise Stop skipping meals though. Number two is fast food and processed food, okay? The heat and eat uh, generation that we are today is also the another piece that is really doing a lot of harm. Why? Because all the processed foods, all the fast food, and again, this is another thing which is very common because a lot of women are busy. We're busy running around kids from here to there and all the places. Um, and then you've got yourself to take care of and I don't know, all the things you have going on in your life right now. A lot of times when we're busy, 
we tend to go for convenience. And convenience is usually either drive through or delivery. I mean, you guys, we have so many things at our fingertips right now. Instead of using, uh, what, is that, what is that thing called? I've never used it. Uh, DoorDash, where they bring food to you, or pizza delivery, or pizza. Instead of using that, use something like Instacart, where you can grocery shop healthy whole food that deliver to your house. Still super convenient. Much healthier way of convenient. And you're going to save a lot of money. So the second thing to truly start working on avoiding is fast food. Stop eating fast food. I guarantee one, if you are someone who eats out fast food multiple times a week, there's your first thing that I really challenge you to start doing is limit your fast food. If you eat out five days a week, go down to two. Okay. And then once you get down to two, go down to one or go down to none. If you can cut that out cold turkey, awesome. Um, I'm a big believer in cutting things out in baby steps, not just overwhelming your life in one day. Okay. Fast food and processed food, heat and eat meals, things in the freezer section that say I'm healthy, healthy cuisine, healthy this. Um, there's so many labels are misleading in today's world. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail because that could be literally a whole training in its own. Um, but the fast food and the, and all these processed foods, the companies literally put so much extra things that you have no idea what they are in the food just so that you do have the freedom to heat it and eat it for it to be already cooked and frozen and you can literally freeze it for, I don't know, months and then heat it and eat it. That's a huge red flag, you guys. There's so many unhealthy things in the processed food of today that is causing food allergies, that's causing us to be ill, that's literally causing us to have things going on in our body that is very, um, you know, is what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's very, uh, you can get away from it. You can get rid of it by literally cleaning up your nutrition. You guys, um, I'll give uh, an amazing woman that's in this community, Tammy, um, is, was one of our, uh, our clients. She went through one of our full-blown 12-week programs. She has a couple autoimmune issues. She was literally going blind. And I'll share her story because she, um, she shares it out loud as well, too. And she was losing her eyesight. It was, her life was just going haywire and crazy. She had no quality of life. And then we changed her nutrition. We started getting rid of things like sodas. We started getting rid of things like fast food. She started moving her body. She started hydrating her body. We didn't do anything overly crazy complicated. Okay, it was very simple as far as the strategy goes, but she got her life back. You know, her, her sight leaving was symptoms from her autoimmune disorders because the processed stuff she was putting in her body was inflaming her body. You guys, if you deal with a lot of pain, if you deal with a lot of stomach bloat or stomach discomfort, a lot of this stuff is coming from what you're putting on your fork. So limit fast foods and processed foods. If you look at a label and there's usually, I mean, there's so many different opinions out there, more than five ingredients and there's a lot of ingredients on it you can't even pronounce, put it back on the shelf. It's a red flag. <laughs> Try to stay away from the heat and eat meals. Even the big like, um, what is that, Stouffer's that, you know, has all the things that you can literally just open it up, throw it in the, in the oven when you get home and do all the things. No, there's another way to do it with healthier food. Again, those are things that are full of processed foods and things that are going on. All this stuff builds belly fat, builds up belly fat, packs on weight, and here's the other piece that this thing, this, all of these things do, if you're doing this to yourself right now, it also affects your mental capability to focus and function and be present. If you're struggling right now with, you know, just mental fog, hard time focusing, zero energy, look at what you're putting in your mouth. I highly encourage you, if you're not aware of it whatsoever, start either tracking your food or just pen and paper, start writing down what you're eating. And you're very likely going to come across some things you're like, oh, shoot. I didn't realize I was putting that much stuff in my body. A lot of them cause inflammation, though, throughout your entire body and through your gut. You probably have a very unhealthy gut. There's a way to get your gut healthy with, um, with foods and cleaning this stuff up. Everything comes from your gut. If your gut's unhealthy and out of whack, you're probably going to be tired, run down, exhausted, uh, having a hard time focusing, um, super bloated all the time, constipated, not going to the bathroom. You guys, something that I'm sure most don't care to talk about, but it is it's life. And as women, these things are very common. These are things that happen, right? 
um, the number, the, so the number one thing was avoid skipping meals. You guys, you've got to eat. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit down here and tell you, you got to eat five meals a day, six meals a day. That doesn't work for everybody. Maybe yours is three meals. Maybe yours is two meals and two snacks. I mean, it, the beauty of macros, which is what we focus on is it doesn't matter how many you eat. I, I, I mean, I usually recommend at least three, but you can make it happen in three meals. You can have, make it happen in six. There's not one way to do it. So avoid skipping meals, avoid fast food, you guys, and avoid processed food. Even the grilled chicken from fast food restaurants, you guys had so much extra crap in it. It's better than the big old greasy fat hamburger, sure. So if you have no choice, then just make a better choice, right? But avoid, avoid diets that promise the fast results with very little effort. Okay. That's, I think I've already talked about that part enough without harping on that. Um, but I know they're very tempting and you're going to see it a lot. I know I can't even believe it's almost February, but the new year's resolution stuff has calmed down a little bit. It's a lot of people that started at new year's have already quit. Don't be that, you know, you deserve, but the diets that promise you can lose 30, I was literally, I say 38 pounds in four weeks because that was a text message that I got not long ago. That's a freaking red flag. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. So run, 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 run. You can take all the diet pills in the world, starve yourself and do all the things. You can lose a little, you can lose weight, but it's just going to come right back if you can't do it in a sustainable way. Okay. Does it suck? It's a slower process. Yeah. For most people, it's a slow, it can be a slower process, but is it's all boils down to what do you really want? Do you want to change your life or just want to change the number on the scale for a little while? Do you want to truly change your life and stop restarting all the time and avoid the mentality of thinking that you can't eat what your family eats? So what can you do? What can you eat more of? What can you do? I already, I already hit this a little bit, but macros, 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 put macros in the comments. If this is something you've been like, I want to learn macros. I wish I knew how to do macros. What the heck is macros? <laughs> what the heck is macros? Okay. I was literally talking to someone the other day. Um, she was following some other program. Um, that's not really working for her. And I was really just, I was not familiar with it. So I was asking her what, what it does, what does it got me focusing on? And here's what it just has her focusing on a, a, a calorie range. It's not even a set amount that's customized to her. It's a calorie range. And it didn't matter what the, it, it didn't matter. Like they didn't break it down. Like what should your calories be made up of? That's what macros are. You guys, if you're not familiar with macros at all, your, ca your macros is what makes up your calories. So any of our programs that we run that deals with macros, we set your specific calories, but we set your specific macros, which means how much protein should you personally have on a daily basis? How many carbs should you personally have on a daily basis? And I say you because there is no one size fits all. It is different for every single person. How much healthy fat should you have in your nutrition? It breaks up your calories into those three things. And then what we do, I know in a lot of our, and with what we do in our coaching, it is literally, don't even focus on the calories. Focus on the macros, the calories are going to come simplify it. Macros is something I have been talking to a lot of women about lately. And they're like so confused because so many, well, one, stop the Googling. You can Google 20,000 different things. And there's so many different opinions out there that will confuse the heck out of you. Um, yeah. Coach Anita, macros are the best. It's called food freedom, food freedom. What does that even mean? Okay. For example, you want to have pizza night with your family and you know, it's coming. Cool. Log your pizza and then work the rest of your day to make it work so that you can enjoy the pizza. You just go a little lower carb throughout the day, keep your protein high, keep your fat a little lower, and you can make it work, I promise. I do this often with myself because I, I just love pizza. So we do have it once in a while. You can make it happen with macros. Macros is not about calorie restrictions. Macros is also about fueling your body with enough food. Put enough in the comments if you're still on and you're able to listen and type because enough is massively important for you to understand. Macros helps you also make sure that you personally are eating enough for your body, eating enough protein, carbs, and fat. How in the world do you figure that out? There's a lot of data there's not a lot of data, but there is data that you have to look at first. 
everybody's going to be different. Again, I can't tell everybody on this video, everybody go eat 1500 calories and hundred proteins. And I can't tell you that. Why? Because everybody's different. Everybody in our program has a different number because we base it on their body, their age, their activity levels, their basal metabolic rate, which is found through all these data. Okay. And then what your goals are, what are you trying to accomplish? Trying to lose weight. Some women want to lose weight. Okay. Their macros are going to be a little bit different than I don't need to lose weight. I just need to tone. I just want to continue building muscle. I just want to maintain. Everybody's different, right? So macros I love. They're so important. But the other piece of this, what you should do is whole foods, more whole foods. What do I mean by that? Things with like one ingredient, chicken, turkey, fish, fruit. I love quinoa. Some people do, some people don't. I love quinoa is one of my most preferred sources of carbs that I eat. Like lunch today for me is going to be a citrus turkey. It's a ground turkey recipe that we have from our detox program. I love it. It's still my favorite. I eat it all the time. And then I have, uh, I have green peas for the day. And then I have quinoa and I'll put it all together. And I sometimes I'll throw some salsa on there because I just love the flavor. And yummy. Lean protein. Nice greens. You got to get greens every day. And then a nice, good, healthy carb. And quinoa actually has some protein in it too. Okay, so whole foods is number two. Counting macros, not just counting calories, you guys, because you can eat a 1500 calorie diet, but it's loaded in fat and carbs and very little protein, and guess what's gonna happen? You might gain weight in that scenario. Whole foods, whole foods, whole foods. Okay, as much as you can, whole foods. And I'm gonna share some tools in a minute because I know when I say whole foods, a lot of people automatically start thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna spend hours in the kitchen. Nope, don't have to spend hours in the kitchen, I promise. So I bought the tools you use and there's ways to do it. If you're someone that's like me, I don't like to cook and I like to be transparent about it, I don't. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it the easiest way possible. And that's what I'm gonna share. Right. And then the third thing I want to share to what to eat, like count your macros. Don't focus just on calories, um, whole foods, real foods, stay away from cans, stay away from process, stay away from drive throughs Okay. Stay away from fried foods. I mean, the list can go on and on. Right. But again, and then the third piece here is two to three servings of fruit and veggies a day, whatever diet that you follow in the past cuts out veggies and fruit. There's a problem in my personal opinion. And there's some diets out there, you guys, that don't allow you to have fruit. Some of them don't even allow you to have certain vegetables. Blows my mind, you guys. These are God's, these are God's foods. God's created these. They're coming from the earth. If it's coming from the earth, it is a whole food. Yeah, Tammy, you're I'm I'm you, you don't like to cook either. It's all good, but you're rocking it in our program right now. Um, so two to three servings of fruit and veggies a day, you guys, why? Because that's also going to help you get that fiber. There's a fiber piece of this too, that I'm not even going to talk about today. Cause I don't want to overcomplicate and give you guys too much information. Cause then your head will hurt and you'll walk away from this a little confused. And that's not what I want to do. So protein, carbs, and fat, whole foods, whole foods, whole foods, whole foods. Okay. Now the next part of this, I want to talk about, um, and, and then I'm going to go into something that we do have for you guys. Those of you all that are like, oh, this sounds great, but I still don't know what to do. I don't know how to do this. It's cool. We got you covered. <laughs> um, but I want to talk about the power of, of, like I said, tools and strategy in your food. Like how in the world do I do this, Angela? It all sounds great, but how in the world am I supposed to make my macros? How in the world am I supposed to do? Tammy Price on here, I've got to give you a major kudos because she's in one of our programs that uses using that beautiful guide that we made to help you lay out your day and your macros and you're crushing it. Um, you're, you're just, you're using the tools that we have provided for you. That's massively important. You guys tools, um, you know, obviously the top tool that I already talked about was macros. That's where your freedom is going to come in. Right. Um, meal prepping and less time. This is one of the biggest tools. And then, and then there's some actual tools that you can have in your kitchen. Um, to do it. But the second tool, in my personal opinion, that you really, really need to understand that's very important to you. And if you're someone that right now already tells yourself all the time, I don't have time to meal prep. This is where I really want to get in your head today right now. And I make you understand like you, if you say you don't have time to meal prep, you need meal prep more than anybody else. Why? Because if you, your weeks are crazy busy, 
and you're allowing yourself to go without any sort of planning or prepping, you're adding more stress to your life. And if you learn some of these things that I'm going to share with you in a second about using tools and literally meal prepping in less time, you're going to take so much stress away from yourself throughout the week. And I mean stress like, okay, how many of you guys stress out every day at lunch? Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to eat? I don't know what to eat, but I don't want to go drive with you because I know that I'm trying to get healthier. I'm trying to lose weight, but crap, I don't have time to do anything else. So you do one of two things. You either do drive through or you just skip altogether. Both are equally bad in my personal opinion. Mel prep and last time to take away stress from your life. If you can just find 30 minutes to yourself on the weekend to do some meal prepping, you will find your weeks so much less stressful and you'll start to have so much more progress in the results you're trying to accomplish. Set yourself up for success. Plan. Do a little bit of planning. This does not consume your life, I promise. It doesn't. I've got a video in this group somewhere. I'll have to find it and pop it back up. Um, But I literally just showed you my kitchen and how I just put a few things together using a little bit of tools that I had and then walked away and did some stuff with the family, came back in 35 minutes and all my food was prepped. That's the type of stuff that I want to show you and I want to teach you. Um, Because when you meal prep and learn how to do it in less time, your life will be so much less stressful throughout the week. And here's another thing too. Not only because you're not going to have to think about your food throughout the week, or and I'm not saying you got to meal prep every single meal. I'm talking you know, usually the bulk of your busiest part of the day, which is for most people, lunches and snacks. Everybody's different. But I mean, at least meal prepping those things. So when you're busy and you're throughout the day and you're working, you don't have a lot of time, you can grab and eat something healthy because you spent a little bit of time on yourself on the weekend and actually prepared some stuff. Um, It's so massively important. It's going to reduce stress. But here's the other thing that's so massively important that I want you to understand. When you do this sort of thing, not only do you reduce stress in your life, but you also add energy to your life. You add the ability to mentally focus in your life because you're actually giving your body enough fuel and enough of the right things. When you skip meals, you're exhausted, you're tired, and your mental capacity goes down because your brain doesn't have any fuel to keep up. Your brain takes 30% of the calories that you put in your body. So if you're having a hard time mentally keeping up, mentally being able to focus, struggling with energy levels, what are you putting in your mouth or what are you not? Because equally, if you skip meals, you are killing all of those things, energy, mental focus. When you go through the drive-thru and eat all this processed stuff, I guarantee if you pay attention, more attention and have more awareness in your life, when you, how you feel after you eat that kind of stuff, again, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're struggling, you can't focus. You want to go take a nap (laughs) a lot of times because of the stuff and the processed um, foods that are causing inflammation in your body and all kinds of stuff. That kind of stuff also affects your brain, (laughs) your brain health. Okay. So if you right now find yourself all the time saying, I don't have time to meal prep. I want you to promise right now, promise yourself more than me, promise, 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 type it out if you need to in the comments or if you will, I will make time to meal prep. Why? Because you're worth it. And if you're someone who keeps saying, I don't have time for meal prep, you need it more than anybody else. You have to find time if you truly want your results bad enough. And how in the world do you do this? I'm going to share some of my most favorite tools and then I'm going to I'm going to slowly wrap it up here in a minute. Tools. What do I mean by tools? In the kitchen. Um, Okay. In the kitchen, protein. Let's talk about protein first. How in the world am I supposed to make my protein? How do I cook protein? How do I do this? How do I do that? Right? You can do two things. Number one, if you're cooking a healthy protein for dinner, cook extra. You know, one of my favorite things to do in the summertime when it's a little warmer outside, my husband grills. So when he grills, We throw a lot of extra chicken or whatever it is that we're grilling on the grill. And so not only is he cooking dinner, but we're also meal prepping at the same time. Multitask. How many of you guys are multitaskers already? I know I am. There's certain things in your life you should multitask and there's certain things you should not. When it comes to meal prepping, you need to learn to multitask. Highly important. So you, one, you can literally just cook extra dinners, protein, right? Uh, Or number two, use tools like uh, like a quick cooker or Instapot. I use the Pampered Chef Quick Cooker. Some of you guys have Instapot. Same, they work. I know they're not the same exact thing. So if my beautiful friend Jamie hops on who got me the Quick Cooker, then I know they're not the exact same, but they work the same in my personal opinion. They're equally as effective. 
One of my favorite things to do in the quick cooker for meal prepping is chicken. I'll put four to five chicken breasts in the quick cooker, frozen, get them out of the freezer. If you're someone who forgets to, um, to thaw your meat out, I do it all the time. So what do I pull out? The quick cooker. Cause I can put chicken breasts that are frozen in the quick cooker. And then I usually put like a can of Rotels on there to get extra flavor. I'll put some bone broth or chicken broth in there. Um, sometimes I'll throw in black beans if I want to. You guys can put some things in there if you want. Black beans are high, uh, they are carbs, okay? And there's a little bit of protein in those black beans and they're also really high in fiber. So it's good for you, right? Um, I will put all that stuff together in there. It takes me less than 60 seconds. And then I hit the button that turns it over to chicken. And then I press start. 30 minutes later, I have all my chicken cooked for the week. That's what I mean by tools. If you, do, if you have a favorite tool that you use in the kitchen, drop it in the comments below. Um, my mom has an air fryer now. We got it for Christmas that she's using all the time. And it makes me want to go buy one now. I don't have one. I'm gonna, that's going to be next on my list. So quick cooks are in quick cookers, Instapots, crock pots, you guys, same exact thing. If you don't have a quick cooker or an Instapot and you do have a crock pot, you can do the same exact thing. It's just a slow cooker. So at the beginning of the day, then do the same exact thing that I just said in the quick cooker. Put your chicken in there, throw something, whatever you want to put on top. Again, I use Rotel's, maybe some black beans, a little bit of bone broth. Turn that sucker on. And you don't have to do anything else. Eight hours later, your chicken is done. Or four, whatever, however you cook yours. Okay, same thing with like ground turkey. There's another protein. I don't, you can do that in the quick cooker too. Dump it all in there, put the seasonings you want in there, turn that sucker on. And I think that's more like 12 or 15 minutes. I've cooked tacos in there before. Or I haven't done my ground turkey. Or cook a whole pack of a pound of turkey, split it into four. Just brown it. Put your favorite seasoning on there. Split it up into four different Tupperwares. You got four meals. Okay, so protein, protein, protein. Think about what can I meal prep for protein this week? Start there. And then what can I make for green veggies? You guys, if you've ever followed me or heard me whatsoever, when it comes to veggies, I'm all about the steamable bags. Why? Because one, I don't want canned veggies, you guys. There's a lot of extra sodium in the canned. I try to really stay away from anything canned. I'm either frozen or fresh. Frozen is nice because it's convenient, it's cheap. Guys, I know you can go around here, uh, either Walmart or the, or the Brookshires or wherever you shop, wherever you shop, I'm sure you, you know, I shop a lot at Aldi's as well too. They deliver to my house, it's so easy, it's so convenient. I like the steamable bags that I, because you know, a lot of times you can grab 10 bags for 10 bucks. You can also do this on a budget. It doesn't have to be expensive. But again, I like the steamable bags because I'll throw them in the microwave and then cook. To, uh, turn it on for five minutes, walk away, do something with the kids. Five minutes later, boom, my veggies are ready. Then I split them up into my Tupperwares and there I go, got it. Took me less than 60 seconds to put them in the microwave and turn it on. There are some greens. Same thing with um, same thing with your carbs, okay? Carbs can be things like sweet potatoes. I will tell you for sweet potatoes, I usually get the ones that are already wrapped at the store because I like those. I can just throw it in the microwave in the middle of the day for seven minutes. Boom, I have a baked sweet potato. Or... I have a rice cooker that I always, I always joke about it, but I'm serious. I've had it for years, maybe 13 bucks at Walmart, and I cook my quinoa in there. Again, less than 60 seconds, measuring out a cup of quinoa, putting the water in it, flipping the on switch. I think it might take about 10 minutes. Boom, done. This is what I mean by tools. You don't have to spend hours upon hours. Get tools in your life if you're struggling right now finding time that you can literally do by so much little effort, putting it in there, turning it on, boom, I can go do all things with the kids and do all the stuff. And you can even cook your dinners this way if you're struggling with cooking dinners. Tools, 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 tools. Cook in bulk. bulk. Uh, like I said, rice cookers, or even in the past, I've used the Uncle Ben's uh, rice. The little packets that you just rip off, throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds, split it up into four. Again, there's your nice healthy carbs. Those will have a little bit extra sodium, but you guys, we're not about being perfect here. We're about being healthy. We're about being better than we were yesterday. This is what I mean by using tools. Plan a little bit, use your tools. And then the other tool is, we love to use my fitness pal um, for food tracking. And then snacks, so if it comes to snacks, the, the biggest thing I'll say there is, is get stuff that you can grab and take with you. Get things like fruit and split it up into servings, get, Protein shakes that are already pre-made, if you can find those, if you like those. Uh, get protein shakes that you like. 
ingredients are important on those things, we can share some uh, ideas in here. Um, but almonds, edamame, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do for snacks, okay? So the biggest thing that I want you to get from this training today is this. Number one, that you are worthy of some time. You're also worthy of investment. If you're still lost and you're like, holy cow, I need help. We all need help. I have my own help. I invest in myself because I know that I'm worth it uh, with coaches on all levels. Um, so this is what I would love to do for you, you guys that are like, oh gosh, I need, this sounds great, but I'm still a little overwhelmed and confused on how to do it. We have a few things that we do as coaches and there, we have one program that I do want to share with you guys because it is a program that a lot of people are having amazing results with. Um, you, and you can do one of two things. If you're someone right now, you're like, I need help. I know that I'm worthy of this. I love everything you're saying. I would like to explore what options you have. Then you can do one of two things. You can actually just book a call with me. I'd be happy to hop on a quick phone call with you. Talk about it, share it. I'll be an open book and tell you all the programs that we have. Let's talk first though and figure out what might be the best fit for you. Because we have full-blown one-on-one coaching programs and then we have some other programs as well too. One of them that I want to share with you today because it's all about macros, it's about fitness, uh, and everything we do is about mindset, right? So put call in the comments if you'd like to book a call or as soon as we hop off, I'm going to put my link above. Just go and find a spot that works best for you. Get on my calendar. Let's have a phone conversation. Um, the other thing that we do have is it's a six-week program where we do multiple things. It's a six-week program that allows you to get started, um, allows us to lay out your calories and your macros for you. We also get you that guide that I mentioned Tammy uh, on here today is rocking it with because she's in this very program. Um, we set your custom calories for you. We set your custom macros for you. We take all the guessing out for you. You don't have to do it. We do it for you. Okay. Uh, we also set you up with, with workouts that you use during the six weeks and a cardio goal. Okay. That the, uh, workouts are delivered in our custom app. So you get, you get our custom app downloaded to your phone where we put your workouts. We put these habits that we're helping you create on your little calendar. So you can check, 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 check. This is where the accountability piece comes in. Um, we also, uh, you, it, with this program as well too, you're also part of our VIP group. Okay, so like I said, we have a VIP community that only the women are in that we actually coach in there and we do a lot of trainings, support, accountability, all that stuff in there. Um, the app, also during these six weeks, you get two full food and progress log reviews. So our myself or Coach Lori or Coach Anita will go through your entire food log with you and dissect it and tell you what you got going on, give you some some one-on-one -on -one tips to either make it better or just help you see where the heck you're winning at because even that is hard for a lot of women to see. We're also going to look at your progress so you can see where you're winning at because on the scale does not tell the full picture. So we look at your pictures with you. We look at your inches with you. We do all that stuff. Uh, in this program, you also hop on a, uh, on a, on a call with me, a, a quick phone call the first week or so that you're in there so that you can make sure you get all that full support. And again, this one's all about macros. So we're teaching you macros if macros is something you're looking for. This program itself, you guys, the 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 pricing on it is actually crazy, crazy um, inexpensive for what we offer, in my personal opinion. Some of the programs we run uh, are quite a bit more. This one's only $2.97. You guys, $2.97, a one-time payment of $2.97. You're worth that. And it's six weeks of being in our group, six weeks of us laying this stuff out for you and get started. So if it's something that you feel like, oh my gosh, I need help. That sounds like it might fit my budget. It sounds like something I need. Put sign up in the comments and I will reach out to you and walk you through the rest. Um, again, you are worth it. Yes. Thank you, Shauna. You're an amazing person. I love you so much. She said best group ever. Yeah, we do a lot of stuff in our VIP community. Our VIP community that you're part of in this program, we do also have a membership option for that as well too. If the 297 is over your budget right now, at minimum you can be in there $79 a month for a membership. And the membership, we do trainings weekly. We share support. We post new recipes once a month. We post new workouts once a month so you can actually use those if you're in the VIP community as a member. Um, lots of, lots of good stuff going on in there. So again, I hope you got some major value from today, um, and some hope. 
and some understanding a little bit about where your mind should be, what you should focus on, on and what you should not be focusing on. Um, and, and understand that there is freedom in food. You can eat what your family is eating, especially if you're counting macros because you can make it work where you do not, abs you absolutely do not have to cook two different meals and eat out of a Tupperware. You do that when you're following the overly restrictive fad diets and things that um, do you more harm long-term than anything. So our mission at Fit Mama Coaching is to truly help break that cycle and help you get to the core of the problem. A lot of time that core of the problem is here because we constantly think we have to do all or nothing. We constantly think we have to cut out so much stuff. Okay, so I hope you got value. Again, if the program sounds like something you to do, put sign up. I'll put the link above in a minute. Uh, or just book a call with me as well. You can comment call um, and we'll, uh, I'll make sure that you get my link. So absolutely. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Yes, so good. Very valuable. And we will all talk soon, you guys. Y'all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you got some value from it. Make sure you subscribe here to my channel so you don't miss a thing. You can also follow me and many other amazing women over on the live network for women uh, and catch me on all my social media platforms at www.acfitmama.com and I'll see you on the next video.